the University of Pittsburgh. Discovering a new species of primates, placing bioscience experiments aboard the space shuttle, operating the world's most powerful non-military computer, adopting a fiber optic network before others do. All innovation and discovery at Pitt. Beginning with its earliest scientific pioneers, curiosity and hard work characterized the university's rich legacy of innovation. Early contributions came from inventor and professor of astronomy and physics, Samuel Langley. In 1869, he invented the railroad time service, which helped place the United States, and then the world, into standard time zones. Langley's success in aerodynamics came in 1896, when he launched his prototype aerodrome. Although unmanned, it was the first sustained free flight of a power-propelled, heavier-than-air machine. Engineering professor Reginald Fessenden made broadcast history. In fact, it was on Christmas Eve in 1906 that O Holy Night and his chief engineer's voice were heard across the Atlantic Ocean, proving that radio waves could transmit human speech. In the early 1900s, Professor John Brashear became director of the Allegheny Observatory, part of the original Pitt campus. Over a span of more than 20 years, Brashear became one of the most successful producers of telescopes. In 1913, Pitt chemists produced half the supply of crystallized radium in the world. In 1932, Charles King identified the structure of vitamin C. And in 1955, Mary Edmonds developed a technique to isolate messenger RNA. Pitt's history of achievement spans multiple disciplines. From the early 1960s, Professor Wilfred Sellers helped set and shape the Anglo-American philosophical agenda for more than four decades. He was instrumental in establishing Pitt as one of the world's most important centers of philosophical thought. Throughout the years, Pitt researchers and scholars have contributed thought leadership in a variety of disciplines, 